Good morning students. Today we'll be learning about abdominal aorta on this model. Before starting, I like to give you an orientation about this model. So in this model, over the posterior abdominal wall, you can see diaphragm, you can see sous major muscle, you can see iliacus muscle, you can see quadratus lumborum muscle. In the midline, you can see this red tube that is aorta and this bluish thing is the inferior vena cava. Both the sides, these brown structures are kidneys and then these whitish structures are ureters. And in the bottom, this is urinary bladder. Now, let's go to our topic today. Abdominal aorta. First of all, what is abdominal aorta? Abdominal aorta is the continuation of thoracic aorta. The moment it passes through aortic opening which is located in the diaphragm at T12 L1 level that is the time when we call this thoracic aorta as abdominal aorta so this is the commencement point and then it goes it vertically runs downwards slightly on the left side in the midline and when it reaches at the fourth lumbar vertebrae it bifurcates into common ilex and these common ilex they further divide into external and internal ilex we'll be discussing about remaining ilex in our next video today we'll be confined to the branches of the abdominal aorta for the purpose of simplicity we divided these branches into three categories these categories are visceral branches somatic branches and terminal branches so we'll start one by one so when we'll talk about, first we will take the visceral branches. So out of these visceral branches, we have paired visceral branches and unpaired visceral branches. So for the paired visceral branches, now I can show it to you. This is my pair of renal arteries, both left and right. And there is suprarenal gland. I will show you its arterial supply. It is not visible in this model, but I will be showing you in another model. And the third paired visceral branch you can see on both the sides, left and right, and that is my gonadal artery. In case of male, we call it testicular artery, and in case of female, we call it ovarian artery. Now, we have talked about three paired visceral branches. Now, we'll be talking about three unpaired visceral branches, and these branches are celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, and inferior mesenteric artery. It's very easy to remember the superior, the celiac trunk is the primary artery for the structures who develop from foregut and it emerges at the level of T12 L1. Superior mesenteric artery which emerges at the level of L1 that is the artery of the midgut and its derivatives and the inferior mesenteric artery which emerges at L3 vertebral level and that is the artery of structures who are developed from hindgut. So celiac trunk for the foregut, superior mesenteric artery for the midgut derivatives and inferior mesenteric artery for the hindgut derivatives. So now we have talked about the visceral branches. Now we'll be looking into the somatic branches. So what are these somatic branches? The word soma is referring to the body cavities. And we have five paired somatic branches and majority of them are visible but few of them are not visible in this model. For that I will be showing you on another model. But right now you can see here the fourth, third and second lumbar arteries. First lumbar artery I cannot show you in this model. I am showing you on the left side. On the right side I have to take away its inferior vena cava then only you will be able to see that. So now we have talked about the somatic five paired somatic branches. Now coming to its terminal branches, the terminal branches are three in number and you can see that left common iliac artery, the right common iliac artery and the median sacral artery. Now here in this model I can show you of my somatic branches which are five paired somatic branches. So there you can see the left and right inferior phrenic arteries and they are going towards the under surface of the diaphragm. 
After that, L1, for showing you L1, the first lumbar artery, I have to remove these vessels and I cannot do that. But I can show you the second lumbar artery, the third lumbar artery and the fourth lumbar artery on the left side. For seeing these vessels on the right side, we have to take away this inferior vena cava. Thank you for watching this video.